Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, and Brahms have all died. Bars, they? Really? Yes. Oh, what what, what are we saying, sir? Wonderful that? people. Are they? Oh, yes, they really turn us on. What do they do? Well, <laughs> suppose they turn other people on. That's just their tough shit. It's what? Nothing, a rude word. Next question. No, no. What was the rude word? Was it really? Good heavens, you Gosh. frightened me to oh, death. All right. so what about you girls behind? Like your dad, isn't he? Are you, er. Uh... <laughs> Actually, I was surprised that Johnny didn't make any comment about this record because very early in the Sex Pistols' career, he delivered the same kind of thing. Yes, four years ago. Big yes, difference. that's that's fine. Four four years ago, that's fine, John. And I'm quite sure that you're very proud of what you did four years ago. And I'm sure that these boys are equally as proud as what they've done here in 1979. Uh, boys. So, so, now hold boys. on. So you so you can't so you can't criticise them from that particular angle. I think I one of the great like pities on this and that's what record. that record reads. Shut so. up, will you? No, I will mean, not. <laughs> I think, one of, the great, I think one of the great men. pities on this particular record it's rubbish, is full in stop. jukebox to you. Rubbish! The, uh, Miss! How would you like a nice smack in the head? Not very much. Well, then shut your mouth and get out of my way with that thing. What do you think you can offer a 16-year-old Green Day fan that Green Day can't? Big Willy. MTV? Bye-bye. I think they said my piece. Oh, <laughs> with Look, street. I don't have to explain myself to anybody and I ain't going to really bother. Now, I was asked here, right, to interview with the band here, Pill, but now, like, we're facing a cheapskate comedy interrogation act and it just ain't on, pal. It's a joke. It's a farce. You mean you don't want to give any messages to I don't to have the... to explain myself. Sooner or later, somebody will open their eyes. Oh, sorry, rude word. Well, it sounds like we've heard this story before. Really? Um, Would you like to tell me where? Good night. Now, Mr. There's Lyden, no I don't point have a in me wasting money on separate individual hotel rooms I don't when have a I'm perfectly able to share, Mr. and Lyden. I'm apparently the pop star. Uh, he... Mr. Lyden. Don't be disrespectful, sir. I haven't disrespected you, have I? No, you haven't. Okay. So let's not be disrespectful Apologies. in my home. Okay. You were talking about making a film where you kill famous people. Now, this has never been played on television before, but it has a particular uh, relevance. Let's listen to this. I'd like to kill Jimmy Savile. I think he's a hypocrite. When I write... I bet he's into all kinds of seediness that we all know about, but we're not allowed to talk about. I know some rumours. <laughs> I bet none of this will be allowed out. I shouldn't imagine libelous stuff will be allowed out. Nothing I said is libel. We wrote the songs, we did all the work, we did the gigs, we led the lifestyle, and he just seemed to have collected the accolades. Which, uh, well, for a certain point as well, he tried to collect the money as well. But I fought that court case and won, on everyone's behalf. Look, everything half-eaten, I see Roseanne's been here. Is that supposed to be her? That is her. Vile hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be rowing with her. I have, I have this agreement in front of me right. saying I can film backstage. This is backstage. Uh, what would you like me to hold on to? Another camera? Now you're telling me I have no access? Not exactly. You've broken the rules and you're And what rules would those be, Mrs? Because I have it clearly written here. You are contradicting your own agreement. Oh, we're no longer on the show. Look. I am now being removed from the Roseanne Barr show. I wanted to talk to Ozzy Osbourne. You've done such great stuff over the years, starting with Black Sabbath. You know, you're a working class Englishman here. But he can't be bothered to turn up. Courtney love Kurt's money. Kill me. With your wonderful excuse, I'm making a film. You love the idea of being a rebel, but you haven't proved to me or anybody exactly what.
being a rebel is. What are you rebelling against? You're just a pile of confusion. Axel Rose. His mediocre excuse at the moment is that he's in studio recording. This is a man who also at the same time proclaims that he loves <laughs> my singing style. You're a fraud. And I'm underwhelmed.